Hi everyone, it's Eleanor from Art with Eleanor and today I'm showing you how I've drawn and painted one of my favourite YouTubers, Grackle. But before we really get into this video, if you could click the like and subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. So first of all, I used a 3H pencil to create the initial sketch using a reference photo from Grackle's Instagram. For me, the sketching process involves a lot of using my rubber and going back and forth from the reference photo to create an image that I'm happy with. This is actually one of the first times I've tried to sketch someone semi-realistically, so sorry if it's not exactly perfect. But I'm quite happy with how it turned out, so I'll let you watch my sketching process now. So at this point I'm pretty happy with the sketch so I've decided to outline it using a biro pen. I'm using a biro pen because it won't smudge when I add watercolour over the top of it. So as you can probably tell, I wasn't very happy with how her nose was looking at the, at the moment, so I kid you not, it took me about half an hour of rubbing out and retrying to try and get it to a point that I was happy with. But I did it, so that's all that matters, and I'm sure you guys will be able to do it too. I then used my rubber to rub out the remaining pencil lines. To fill in Grace's trademark blue dungarees, I used some watercolour pencils as I find that they give me some more control over where I could put down colour. As you can see, I started with the lightest colour first and blended this out using a paintbrush and a little bit of water. I then added in dark colours of blue to build up the different tones in the dungarees. I also added the shadow that her left leg casts onto her right. I used a brown watercolour pencil to colour in the sole of her shoe as well as her hair. I then filled in the grey of her socks. I 
I decided her hair needed to be a bit darker so I added a bit more watercolour pencil and used my paintbrush to fill that in. I used a pale pink for my watercolour palette to fill in her skin tone. I decided to add a little bit of white watercolour paint to her shoe to make it stand out a little bit more. To make the shadows on her t-shirt stand out I added a little bit of grey along the crease lines. At this point I added a little bit more pink to make the shadows on her face a little bit darker. At this point I wasn't that happy with the colour of her hair so I decided to darken it even more with some brown from my watercolour palette. So at this point I began to add in the background so I have to say I wasn't that happy with how the background turned out but I think it looks quite good for making her stand out as a character so I'm just going to let you watch this as a speed paint from now on.
So as we're now coming near the end of the video, I just wanted to jump in here and say thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you did like it, it would really help me out if you gave it a big thumbs up and subscribed.